Hey, it's Home Tour Day. I'm here at my newest listing in the village of Hawkins, which is here on the map. This is a two bed, two bath Durham model courtyard villa. It has a little bit of a water view and we are very close to Sawgrass, which we eventually be Eastport, Southern Oaks Bridge and Brownwood. So let's go check out this turnkey courtyard villa, two bed, two bath, two car garage in the village of Hawkins. Let's go take a look. All right, so I'll take you for a look outside when we're done. And I'm gonna drop all the necessary information below right there. You'll find it throughout the video. So you walk in, there is a little bit of an entrance way. You can put a table maybe to catch keys, nice photo piece of artwork there. That's the door to the garage. This has all tile floor. And this is the laundry room. They have added some extra cabinets for storage. And there is a pocket door that'll close it off. Again, this home is off for turnkey. So, you know, this is in Hawkins. So it's a new home built in 2021. Ooh, doors opening up. Everything that you see here stays this Pretty clocks as life is a beach. Okay, and I'm just some decor here. What you're going to love in this kitchen is I'm gonna highlight this first. There is a huge walk-in pantry. Look at that for everyone that has a lot of stuff for their kitchen, you have space for it in here. And there is a door, I'll close it off so you can hide everything. Again, everything in the kitchen stays. These are gray cabinets and soft closure. They're not painted. So the cabinet doors, this is actually a cabinet door and you have trash, utensils, all stay behind, there we go. large sink, now it is an overmount because this is for mica. It's a light gray with white and a, a little bit of dark and it, this is a water, instant hot water there, yeah, you can see underneath there's the tank garbage disposal, dishwasher, obviously. How could we live without a dishwasher? I don't know. Two bed, um, so it's two bed, two bath. Split bed, primary is in the back of the home. This is the guest section, has pocket door for privacy. See here, we'll lock that off so your guests will have some privacy when they visit. This is a nice touch. They actually have named the lights because sometimes when you come into a especially someone like me, all I do is start hitting light switches. I have no idea which is which. Linen closet. Now they're uh, this is turnkey, but there are not extra linens. They're not included or towels, but you will find they have artwork, nice, clean, new bed set, the comforter, the blankets, the pillows will all remain with the home. And we do have a reach-in closet. And what they've done here is they've actually put the dresser in here and that frees up quite a bit of space. So, you know, you could take this, take this down and maybe put a row of cabinets or, uh, you know, closet organizers there, or you can remove that chest and maybe put it in the corner, put it right there underneath the photo. If you choose to do so, that is up to you. So there is an, a little bit of space in here to walk into. This is the air handlers. The air handler is not in the garage in this property. 
there's not really much storage in there. I wouldn't use it for storage. Um, this is the guest bath. And this is just a simple insert. Again, this has tile flooring throughout which is a bonus if you really like tile. It's a nice, clean color. Again, all the furniture is included. There are dishes, utensils, like you saw some pots and pans for the kitchen. High volume ceiling because we are south of 44. This is gas in this section because we're in Hawkins. Tankless hot water heater. Credenza and TV also. Couldn't I with the home? I'll take it outside in a little bit because they did a nice little kind of oasis kind of scene outside. Um, primary suite does have a tray ceiling, so gives it a little bit more uplift so you feel the room is larger. Primary residence, if you're looking for a rental property, which they had purchased this for a rental, um, they do still live here in the villages. Now there is a pocket door that leads into the primary bathroom. Water closet has a door for privacy. You do have two vanity two sink double vanity sink with drawers lots of space you keep all your hair care products bath care products blow dryer roman shower we'll look at that in a moment closet again if you actually get a professional in here to use uh to put some closet organizers in you will quadruple the amount of space that you have here for your clothing and the Roman shower. And it does, it has a light, but it also has a frosted glass window. So it does bring a lot of extra light into the home. And what I like about it, I was just in a hotel out in, um, in uh, Moab where you had to, you reach in and the shower head, I had to go all the way around here to turn the shower on which because the shower heads here, you really need the valves to turn the shower on on the opposite side as when you're walking in. And they've done that here, so that's nice. All right, let's... All right, so we're gonna go outside. The home is so bright. And you know, you'll find a lot of the courtyards and patio villas because, there's my finger here, they have windows, sliders on the side and the light bounces off the home next to them you bring in a lot of natural light so this is bright bright i mean it is a bright sunny day out today and it's hot but um it is a very bright home so now we have the outdoor lanai this is screened in and all of the furniture does remain i can't remember the name of this street but this is there's a it's not that busy, it's a through road. It's not like Morse or Megasin. But what they've done is because you can see the water, they put two chairs here. So they'll sit out here at night and just look at the water. So you do have a hotel, we'll call this partial ocean view. <laughs> and they built this out with some wildflowers, just a li nice little tranquil oasis back here. So this is a big side yard. You could put a hot tub here if you chose to do so. So this is this space all belongs to this property here. This is the home next to them. The pergolas belong to this owner. And this is the entrance. You know how these go. You walk in one side and the entrance to the courtyard is on the other. Go out 
outside. Now this is yours, the sidewalk. This is yours, hot water heater, electric meter. This belongs to the neighbor. Let's just shut this gate. Okay. I just want to take a look outside here so you can see the neighborhood. So these are courtyards. These are courtyards. Well, some are a little bigger than others, but there's a wide variety here. Two-car garage. This is east facing, so the front of the home faces east. And they do have insulation. I'm going to take you back in there. Uh, all stonework. And this was approved. So we'll get that paperwork. to the beginning, but I want to take you into the garage. All right, so there is a water softener and filtration system. Electrical panel and your irrigation. So what I like about these two car garage splits you could get two golf carts on this side and a car, SUV, whatever, and it would all fit. They have insulated the doors. And it's, I mean, it's still hot in here, but it's not as hot as it normally is. All of this over here will be gone when uh, you take ownership. Oh, so I hope you enjoyed that home tour today. I'm Robin Cavallaro. I am your realtor. You want to buy or sell a home here in the villages, Florida. I know I played pickleball this morning. My advanced league started this week. It is now, gosh, I can't believe it's the end of September already. And it is hot still here in Florida. Anyway, if you want to make an offer that they can't refuse on this home, my number is located throughout the video and i look forward to seeing you next time but call me make an offer all right until next time i'll see you